during this video, I will have a closer look at Drennan's specialist on hooking mat. I'm using this product for over a half a year, basically when it came out. So I will be able to express what I like about this product and what I hate about this product as well. But be sure guys, this video is not sponsored whatsoever because I paid for this mat out of my own pocket. Also, during this video, I will have a closer look at all the features and details this mat possesses. And also, we will have some fun where Drennan did not even dream of the uses of this mat. Let's go, guys. First of all, when it comes to packing down, as you can see, it's quite a compact mat and you can get those mats in two sizes and in two colors as well. If you will be getting from Drennan, it will be like olive color as this one. And if you will be getting from ESP, basically ESP and Drennan said the same thing, just one is for carp fishing and another one is for general fishing or match fishing. So yeah, camo from ESP, Olive from Drennan, and also you can get in two sizes, large and medium, I guess. I have medium here. And also they do have those buckles to attach to compatible Drennan or ESP rucksacks. But I don't use, at this point, ESP or Drennan rucksack. I just attach the mat onto my Aqua rucksack, just using its own straps. And when it comes to securing it like in rolled up state. There are some Velcros, you undo those and then you unroll the mat, just like that. Then it has two very good quality handles with the EVE or EVA, where you can really lift heavy fish hopefully whilst holding them. And obviously the most fancy feature this mat has are those straps where basically you can have your mat in two states. If you release those straps, then you have big and flat mat, just like that. So you can see it's huge. I could sleep on it almost. Well, not quite, but if I would get a bigger version, it would be close. But then if you want to have like a cradle or a, like a little, like a boat shape almost, all you do, you just tighten up those straps and you have like a little, like a boat almost. Actually, when I fish in the water, I chuck it onto the surface of the water, it floats. And yeah, I can work here. I can put even my baits or little bits in it as well. And if I catch a fish, I unhook the fish as well, especially when I'm like in the water a little bit deeper. So yeah, that's great. Then it has quite nice, like easy to clean surface from the inside. And that's very, very durable as well. As they say, I'm using it for a while. No rips, nothing. Looks like new, a little bit dirty maybe, but that's that. From the other side, you have like a, I think it's called denier material or something. Again, again, very, very durable. You can sit on this like, when you have it like semi-rolled on it, like on hard surfaces. Gravel, probably you could sit like on, I don't know, on broken glass almost. This is very, very durable. I tell you, you won't have any problems with that. Also, it's very good if you want to weigh the fish. I mean, you can grab all those straps, hook them together and weigh the fish in this on hooking mat. Obviously, bigger fish, you won't be weighing like, you know, one pound perch or two pound perch in this net. Uh, match should I say. But again, now I will come to the bad things this mat possesses as well. First of all, come on Drennan, you should have included like a carabiner or something, the bit basically where I can collect all the straps, all four, let's say, connection points, hook them together and then hook that carabiner onto the scales. Because when you have a heavy fish, all those straps must be, you know, like 
tied together if you like, otherwise the, the fish might slip out. But yeah, come on, Renan, it's, it's easy. Not, not exactly carabiner, some kind of a system where you can easy and quick join all the four points for weighing the fish. Then another negative. See those drain holes here, they are, I will try to get actually closer. Those drain holes kind of are made out of some kind of a metal, so they are pressed metal. But again, this metal is not treated against corrosion, so after half a year of usage, they are starting to rust, so, and they will go out probably next half a year or so. Come on, Renan, it should be easy for you to do that thing as well, just to make sure that the holes for the water to go out are kind of protected from the corrosion as well. And the same applies to those little two loops, which are used to, you know, uh, fasten the mat during windy conditions, you know. You can just use a peg and spike that or dig that peg into the ground. Make sure that the mat stays where you want it. But yeah, those are two negatives. If Drannan would be able to come out with version 2.0, then it would be perfect for my use. And now let's go to the usage. In my opinion, this mat can be used for any fish pretty much sizable you can catch. So, carp, barbel, chub, pike, big tench, probably if you will be fishing in some rocky places as well, you can chuck on some, I don't know, sea bass or something, but basically any bigger fish, let's say more than five, six pounds, up to like medium size will be perfect, I don't know, up to carp for 35 pounds, 40 pounds, this mat will accommodate, even though, as I said, it's only a medium, there is a bigger size. And also, one extra feature, or actually two extra features, this mat has as well. I mentioned one of them already. Basically, it's very comfortable to sit on it because it has a decent kind of hard, not super hard, but not exactly soft padding, which is, you know, quite, quite nice to sit on it, you know, especially during those colder winter days, mornings or evenings. So yeah, that's awesome, but also, it's quite good that you can sometimes, uh, basically I will tell you a, a story. Last summer, I checked the forecast before going out fishing for bubble. It should have been no rain, sunny or cloud, but no rain, that's for sure. Went out, and what do you think? In next 15 or 20 minutes, kind of thunderstorm moved in, and they had no protection against the rain whatsoever. And then I grabbed this mat and turned myself into a into a ninja turtle. Basically, as you can see, I have those straps here. I, I put this little bit over my head and I was able to, you know, to survive very, very heavy rain. Like, you know, it rained maybe for five minutes very heavily, but after that I was dry. So, you know, it might look silly, but it worked. And when you want to roll the mat up, all you do is just grab those handles, align them just like that, make sure that the straps are nice and tight. So you are making it as compact as possible before rolling it up. You want to start from the side, from the one which has no Velcros. So here, and you just, roll it up like that and here it is so as you can see it's quite compact and I love it again I will mention those two negatives once again I would have liked that those holes would be treated against or the metal would be treated against the corrosion and I would like that those handles which are inside would have some kind of a clipping them all together feature 
But again, it's easy to solve this one. Just grab a decent sized carabiner and you will be able to hook them together every single time easily. So yeah, guys, it will be it from me. I hope you'll find this video useful and fun at least. And if you will decide to grab yourself a mat, please check out those links in the description below. But that's it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.